So comment, subscribe, dislike, or like. Check out the links in the descriptions for other of my um, sites, other activities that I'm involved in. Got a whole bunch of Facebook groups you can check out. I play multiple card games, so I do music among other things, so check out the links in the description. This is my Goku Black Turning the Tides deck. One copy of the leader. Four Super Saiyan 3 Goku Man on a Mission. Four Ender 17 Turning the Tide. Four Almighty Duel over Zeno. Four Rose Goku Black. Four Majin the Fire West Supreme Kai. Four Oceanus. Four Vegeta Ready Rumble. Four Bubbles Skillis. Four Goku and Vegeta Saiyan Synergy. Four Chills Army Reinforcement. Four Goku Jr. Vegeta Jr. Saiyan Scions. Four Majin Buu, also of the Agent of Destruction. Four Super Saiyan 4 Goku protects with the Earth. And one Baby Hatch Yang. Alright. So, the, the leader has the effect that if you have two more blue energy, you can choose one card from your life and add it into your energy. And, it, and then at the end of the turn, choose one of your energy and send it to the drop. Um, the red version of this leader has the condition that if you you if you use the effect of the leader, you can't uh, use other card effects to ramp, right? To put cards into your energy, so and vice versa. So if you already use something to ramp en energy, you can't use your leader's effect. So something along those lines. But obviously, the idea is that we're going to ideally we want to play Majin the Fire on turn two. Play Goku Black on turn three, so we can get ramp from him. That way, by uh, turn four, which we wish we should have five, five physical energy in our energy area, plus her in the in the battle area, right? So that would be a total of six energy. Her plus the five energy you have, right? And since this is turn four, you can use the leader's ability to ramp up uh, one more energy, and you have seven. So on turn four, you have seven energy, and you can turn in tides as soon as turn four. So that's the niftiness of this deck. Um, because of the fact that the leader is a guarantee is a guarantee ramp. So all you have to do is drop her turn two, drop him turn three, and then ramp with him on turn four. That way on turn four. You can turn in the tides. So that's awesome, right? So turn four could be your um, your kill turn if you play it right, right? So the idea is you want to get your Saiyan Scions so you can turn one, play it, swing with it, minus one from it to bring out two bubbles, swing with both bubbles, so that's three damage, plus the leader swing, that should be four damage. So on turn one, you should be able to get your opponent down to four life. Right? Then you know, the following turn, obviously, once you play this, you'll try to swing with the leader again, you know, try to try get another, another damage to go through. Turn three, drop this so you can ramp, right? And if, you know, ideally you want to get your point down to three life, or two even better, but at least get them down to three. Uh, that way you can, uh, on, on turn four, be able to, you know, do the turning of tides. But before you play turning of tides, you want to drop a uh, man on a mission. So you want to get some, uh, obviously, some cards into the to the drop. Uh, so that's where obviously comboing, because uh, we'll definitely get we'll have we'll have same sign in the drop. So that's one one card. Um, if you combo this off defensively, right? Because um, here he did his job, which was to ramp, so you can use him for 5k combo power, right? So that'll be two cards into the drop. More likely, your opponent won't let you keep the bubbles in play, so they'll probably go to the drop as well. So that right there would at least be four cards. You just need two more cards in the drop in order to overround six. So this is 20k double strike crit, which means when it deals damage, your opponent's not going to add those cards to the hands, and it'll be two damage, right? So once you drop this first, right, then turn in ties, your opponent's hand size, hands should be empty, as well as yours, yours as well, right? And then, if 
the leader uh, has the when you have four less life you can um you can draw uh you can draw two cards to awaken right and the fact that he does take a life in order to ramp that should make it easy to get to four life and then you will draw two cards after you do that so you, you should have some cards in hands and then you'll be awakened and then we and then of course you can swim with the leader and draw a card so you'll have at least three cards extra on that turn um and your opponent will have no cards in hands right but the idea is at this point in time you can go in for the double strike so to damage your opponent doesn't benefit from and then swing with this and finish your opponent off and if your opponent just you know still has life let's say they they, they have four life you didn't get them down to three they're at four well obviously this right here will do three and you can swing with the leader for game and your opponent won't have no cards in the hands to um, prevent that but if they have um turn ties doesn't clear their board so if they have like a couple battle cards they could combo off keep that in mind but since you're drawing cards hopefully their combo power there's a lot of uh, battle cards in this deck so you might have some combo power you can use to combo and obviously still still hit so that's the basic idea and you know we got you know floodgate negates here um this is definitely a, a good turn one for like gate the gate we got the chose army obviously take a life in order to negate an attack and put up a blocker so we can stop another attack uh, this is our board wipe this gives us another board wipe plus it has a floodgate ability they can help us you know get to that so they can help us get to, to the later turns especially if for some reason you don't see any of these two you know and you and you need to drop this bad boy you can obviously use your uh, you know could try to use your leader's effect to ramp and try to ramp up into five energy to play this bad boy to get, to try to get you that extra turn if you have to try to get to turn ties the hard way right and then we got majin Buu. um obviously for defense, draw power um, helps us keep our energy up, so that way we can always have an energy to play, you know, our negates. And baby hat check obviously for further defense. So there's a lot of defensive cards here. There's some ramp cards, and you know, and then of course the turn ties win con. And that's the end of the video.